Hello, welcome to lesson three. This video talks about um, adolescent um, substance use and addiction through the framework of um, how we identify that in terms of diagnosing or screening out uh, problems um, youth may be having. I do apologize for the uh, video today. Uh, I'm having to use my iPad due to some technical difficulties at the current location. So um, I'm sorry for the, the, the poor video. And in, in my experience working with addicted individuals using um, or attempting to identify and assess um, adolescents for any level of use, whether that be misuse or abuse, um, dependence, or even experimentation, is, is, is probably among the hardest things that, that we can do um, in, in the field um, be, because many youth you know, fail to understand the consequences um, of drug use, number one. Number two, the teenage years tend to increase risk-taking behavior and a sense of denial that I'm okay and, and nothing can hurt me over and above um, the general use of, of substances. And number three, older patients tend to have a greater level of experience they can compare to in terms of negative consequences related to their use, negative and or positive consequences. Where with adolescent addicts or, or users, frequently there have been very limited negative consequences thus far in their experience because, because of a shorter lifespan and a shorter life experience space. So we, we have to kind of keep that in, in mind. There, there's, um, you know, diagnosing, providing diagnoses, um, working with clients is not an exact science, especially with the, um, again, the adolescent population. Which it was, our jobs would be much easier. Um, this, this may be the, the, the toughest population one can work with in, in the field of substance use and abuse. I certainly believe it is. Um, and I, I really don't have that talent day in and day out. Um, you will find as you work with clients and populations, you may have a natural affinity or you may enjoy working more with one population than the other. And um, sometimes we bring specialized skill sets, interests, and passions to those particular populations. And I think that's okay. This as it should be. We um, will be looking at the DSM-4 um, this lesson the Diagnostic Statistical Manual, um, which provides us a diagnostic criteria for not only substance use and abuse, but other mental health diagnoses that is, is considered standard in the field. Uh, of course, it, it, it certainly has its um, the critics out there, but um, it, it does provide a standard operating procedure of sorts in terms of how we look for, uh, what patterns we look for with patients across the board so we can attempt to be as impartial as we can. Of course, we'll be reading out of our textbook again, uh, a couple of chapters from the tip, the adolescent tip, and um, viewing a couple of videos from the HBO addiction series, specifically on adolescent use uh, and abuse. Um, hope you enjoy the material. It will take you a while to work your way through the material today, and um, if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Thank you.